Yo te escucho. I can't hear you. Yeah, we are just facing more to the light. No sé, pero estamos ahí. I need that. Are we getting ready to start? Hello, can I be heard? Yes. Okay, good. Alright. Yeah, that was pretty much the plan. Uh, once we were on the boat going down the, the stream, like the canal, we were gonna like try to rest. Is someone else talking? Because I can't hear anyone else but you. Oh, let me just refresh to see just in case. Yeah, I'm going to refresh the window. And hello, Twitch, if you're joining us. We're just getting ready to get underway. Uh, just waiting for, I think, one other person to join in. Oh, there's Robert. Hello, Ryan. Um, sorry. Hey, Charles. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Finally. All right. I assume you both were only able to see each other, but weren't sorry, able to I see us. To troubleshoot some. All right. So no, I was just saying. I was just saying that uh, I don't know if you were hearing me that we can hey, all take a short host. rest because. Uh, while you were on the boat, you were not doing any any um hard work. All right. Or if you were, you were taking turns, so you will get the rest anyway. The time to rest. Did you say a short rest? A short one, yes. Once you do that, we'll begin. 
Do you get any uh do you get any HP back for a short rest? That's yes, that's all you get. You can you, you don't recover your um your spell slots, but you do recover some HP. How much HP? Like one hit die worth? Um no, it's uh. Let me, let me check real quick. Cause like uh, I'm, ooh, I, I'm in I'm in D and D uh, D and D Beyond. Yeah, and it's it like, says you can choose. I think. Uh, well, it depends on your levels, but okay. So assuming that you're okay, I'm going to your your stat block. Well, right I, now. I I I. You I, click on short rest. It says so right there. Sorcerer, you get uh one d six plus one. Oh, okay. Cause. You would think that just take you know, clicking the take short rest button would actually do that anyway, but it didn't. Oh, okay. that's you choose. <clears throat> okay, so I get six back. Cool. And nice. if you notice, I fit. I figured out what was wrong with my. You know, now my stuff looks like your stuff. <laughs> ah, what was it? It was the um, um the what was it, the. It was still using the uh, D and D Beyond digital dice, so I had to turn that off. That's so weird. Because I think um, uh, Usui, you're using that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know, but that's oh. what that's what that's what got it to do it for me. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it's. I guess. <laughs> All right. So let's get started. Oh, I also I was like telling everybody to check out Dragon and Fox's Twitch channel. So thank you for in, the thank you for the plug there. Oh. Yeah. You can also watch our sessions there and other games that Dragon plays. So yeah, and, and I'm gonna be setting up um, um I'm gonna be setting up a YouTube channel for my channel for my Ooh. Twitch stuff because Twitch only saves your your videos for like two weeks. And then they drop off. So, like at least, mm. the, for, so for right now, the D and D our D and D sessions, I'm downloading separately, and I will put them up once I actually sit down and create a YouTube channel for 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 my Twitch stuff. I will put it up there. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yes, I will definitely follow you there too. All right. So, without further ado, um, all right. Whoop. That's not special effects. I don't think that's somebody's. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry for for my, here. My, my what did you do? Miami ambient. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's the, the special effects are done, and we're ready to go. Hmm. Um. All right. So the storm passed. And uh, oh. you left it, the storm path before you left the reactor. You were you returned from Goodland District by quote unquote renting a boat um, because you uh, <laughs> right. paid, paid you. one silver piece for it. <laughs> um, yeah, and you made it to uh, God's Bay to to Capan's docks, and while, while you're there docking and whatever. You can hear the normal hustle and bustle of the markets, like getting ready for their daily stuff. And you overhear people talking, like a captain talking to a sailor. Uh, hey, Marcus, did you hear about that power outage that at uh, Goodland and Woodcrest? Another one? I but I heard yeah, this uh, one I was think caused we caused lightning. <laughs> It was us. I, I <laughs> hear that this one was caused by like, the react. Ah! I don't know. Try itself. No, Mark, because it could be good for business because, well, we're going to get more passengers now. <laughs> That's true. Right now it's about 9 a.m. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. And you're at the box. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, we were on the docks, and we were on our way to. We're on our way back to the yeah. back to what to you the hideout, right? Mm -hmm. To the burnt house. Yes, That's right. To the burnt house. 
Yes. All right. You continue walking. No, this is a very. It's a very busy market. It is. It's a very cool market. Okay, you Can walk. We move? You walk along the wharf, making your way to the street that will take you to, to the burnt, house, or where the burnt houses are, and then you can move freely. I assume that this is a yeah, gate, not a wall. Here. That is a gate. Okay. What you see before you are two kobolds near an elf. They seem oh, to be what? like moving a lot, maybe dancing. Dancing kobolds, huh? Dancing kobolds. Yes, there's a there's they are dancing next to an elf. Um, those of you with the high perception, who has the highest perception? These are strange things in the Um, let's see, my I'm, perception I'm really is... I, I, I plus think three. I do, I got 16. Passive. <laughs> That's pretty Passive good. perception. That's high enough. Alright, so... You can see that they are... They have their... Like, their eyes are glossy. They're not... They are not themselves. They're acting weird. It's not their normal behavior. But they are all dirty and sweaty. And the, and yes, and the merchants near them are kind of um, angry at them. Is the elf guy a, a merchant as well, or does he seem to be, like, part of the problem? He's actually dancing, too. <laughs> so, so and, and he looks like he, he looks like glazed and stuff, too? He does, yes. No. Oh, so it doesn't look like he's controlling them? No. Well, I'm going to go over to a merchant and say, Excuse me, what seems to be the issue? Very well. So I the merchant... The strangeness. The merchant, the, the fish seller, tells you oh, this people again. They get drunk or who knows what and start dancing and making all their mischief in the middle of the street. That sounds like big problems. You like to buy mackerel? Acting strange. No, I hate fish. Um, how often does this happen? Oh, this is the first time I've seen these two, these three. Is this caused like by, by like a oh, drug or something? Usuin is gonna make signal to <laughs> to Hestia to move from the street because there are <laughs> people incoming this way. So Cyrus, you asked a question. Yes, but, is uh, this caused by a, by a drug? Of some kind. <laughs> Are you asking the merchant? Yes, I am asking the merchant. I'm interjecting in the conversation. conversation. Right. Yeah. So the merchant is like what? still holding the macro. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they're drunk. Man, I don't know. What am I, a medic? I have two nets. Well, Damn it, Tim! I'm not. I'm a, I'm a fish monger, monger, not a doctor. Not a <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fish monger. Not a, yeah, that. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, Usui and Hestia have already noticed that there are a few people coming your way too from the back. Um, they approach oh. you. Usui is gonna stand casually on his spear, like if he was leaning, just like. Confused by the people? Do I need to perform that or is it just like a leaning? Trying to not look like I acknowledge their presence. <laughs> okay. Yes, you absolutely can. Um, <laughs> that would be a performance check. Oh, I'm very terrible at performance. Well, actually, I'm not good at all, but I'm not terrible. It could be worse. Yeah, that's not. 
<laughs> oh, that oh, was good. Yeah, yeah, that good. Yeah, that's good. All right. You okay. see? You can perform. All right. So yes, you <laughs> totally sell the point that you are just casually looking at the of the sardines. Um, <laughs> but they are they're still coming for you, like at you, and they're eyes are focused on the whole group. Do we notice it? Do I notice it? Uh, you can roll over perception. I mean, your perception is pretty good, so yes. You can notice that they are approaching you. They are dressed in light colored clothes, um, like white and light gray. And what the dwarf, there's a dwarf uh, on the right side. Yeah, he dwarf. is shirtless, has like a bunch of tattoos like covering all of his chest and, and arms the other one is a tiefling and he is he does have a shirt but it's still showing some tattoos underneath um el truquito del icon what what just show them like that oh yeah you can show them yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah hold on wait what are we showing them yeah so it's shift c yeah, we, we discover all magic. Shift says. No, I think it's control. No, I think it's shift. No, I don't have that. Do you have that? Yeah, hold on. I can still do it. I'll just have to manually do it. But yes, that's a good idea. That's weird. Um. So yes, this is the dwarf. Oh, there you go. Oh, he looks soft. <laughs> he looks soft. And this would be the tiefling. Right. I don't know if you got to see both of them. Yeah. That description should say um, light clothes. But whatever. You got it. Yeah. yeah, we got it. The evil looking guys. All right. So at, at this moment, Usu is gonna whisper to Hestia, "Get ready, mage. Things may get out of control in these dots." And he's gonna just keep leaning around. <laughs> Meanwhile, the elves, the I mean, the elf and the kobolds keep just dancing away. Away. <laughs> Yo, we should have. I should have just danced my way away. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just with that with that performance. I will have made it. You know. <laughs> you could have. Absolutely. And with them, <laughs> I was just with the party. Yeah. Um, all right. So the the tiefling actually. Walks next to Usui and like tucks at your sleeve. It says something like really, barely you can hear him. I I respond back like unhand me creature. What's the meaning of this? And I pull my hand back. Very subtle. Very, well. Very subtle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the dwarf. Um, replies, All right, I'll tell them. Okay, uh, now he's looking around, trying to be inconspicuous. He says, All right, well, we're not sure, but we think there was another party following you while you were on the boat. Yes, we know what you were up to. We have been following you since we you left the Goodland Reactor. We just want to confirm it was if it was your doing or not. Maybe it's an offense that you doubted my word. I am a man of respect in these lands. Oh. Oh, I I feel very empowered after after destroying a reactor. And for five. <laughs> Like this is just the this is the the thrill and the, of the empowerment of of, of surviving. <laughs> because I was not out on a pipe 
above 100 feet of just a chasm and I made it alive. Like this, these are just some foolish creatures over here on, on, on the docks. And also he's not gonna say anything else. He's just gonna look at them. Given this thing, guy. All right. Yeah. Does anybody else do anything? Like Hestia, you're next to them. I'm gonna move over here just to kind of get room in case things go down. I grab a macro just in case. <laughs> All right. I I will I will give your character good silver or gold if you like literally fight this battle with a mackerel. Uh, I can certainly try it. As, as like an improved them. weapon. I, can I will. Them. I can stab them <laughs> with a mackerel, of course. Don't taunt the arcan the the what's it called the the artificer artificer, artificer yes artificer. He can do a lot of crazy stuff. So <laughs> no, but I was like Hestia. What were, what were you thinking, or did you say like do something? Um. Okay. Don't think. What? Nothing. Um. Let me see what I can ask those guys. I don't know. I do like a smirk, and I just tell them, "State your business with us." And I do like an intimidation, nice. so they can tell us. <laughs> <laughs> you intimidate them? Well, yeah, yes. I want to know what the fuck yes. they want. Yeah, you do it. No problem. Uh, there we go. This is a little... Damn. Yeah, plus three. <laughs> wow, that's good. Well... <laughs> Yeah. Alright, very you're very scary. You're very scary. <laughs> so people just like, want steps back. And then the dwarf steps forward and he bows and he says, I am sorry. Uh are you uh well I am Morgan and this is Anton. He never shares any negative comments with I what? <laughs> and we. Short. We just. We just. Like, can you hear me? No, we lost you. Like right at the beginning, like after the ball, the bow. <laughs> oh okay. Okay. We're sorry. I I think yeah, you guys are getting my audio delayed for some okay. reason. Okay. All right. Here. So yeah, the. Yeah. the uh, the tiefling steps back, the bar steps forward, he bows to you and then says, I am Morgan, and this is Anton, and uh, we just wanted to... Um... All right, I'm not going to do my axe anymore. Are you also tired of the Emperor and his crushing grip on the people, or not? I'm just passing through and here to blow shit up. That's all I'm, that's all I'm here for. Then <laughs> <laughs> so, Anton steps closer to you, Hestia, and because if you are, you should join us. All we want to do is bring an end to the theocracy and save the people. I mean, if you're really interested, we can help you do that. Mm. Your words sound enticing, but how can I make sure that we can trust you guys? I need to discuss this with my team. <coughs> so guys, what do you think? Dwarf then. That's <laughs> really... Ah, 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 ah. ah, these people. I, I don't know why I even bother. Go ahead and have your distance. <laughs> <laughs> I turn around oh, to it. <laughs> <laughs> may you also he said, may you give us a moment, a little bit of space. <coughs> then Anton pulls him away like give him some space. <laughs> Fine, I'll step and I'll go step in to do some conversing. I give the macro back. 
Bro, your mic is kind of low. I can barely hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. There you go. Yep. He gave the macro back, which I'm very I disappointed gave my in. Macro back, yes. <laughs> and I turn around to <sighs> talk to my companions. So these people are saying that they are trying to overrule <laughs> the the power here, as we've already been doing. <laughs> Do you guys want to tag along with them? Do you think we should trust these people? Are they like their assistants? Hmm. Also, he's stepping in and says, lower your voice. We don't want to get killed over here in the docks. <laughs> he's, he's treason to the crown is what you're talking about. And start looking a little bit around to make sure that there's no merchants nearby. Well, the fishmonger's right there. Here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's like crazy people dancing pretty close. Oh, yeah. oh, you can see that what? they are not even aware that they're doing that. They um, are high as you know yeah. what. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, by now they're even like further down. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> keep dancing away. This party somewhere else, guys. They are tripping yeah. balls, man. Yep. So these, um, whatever their names were Morgan and Anton. <laughs> Morgan and Anton. I don't know about that. <laughs> Morgan and Anton. So, did they say what, what, like, what their 